Because this is the number one thing that I want out of this program is I want everybody to get their investment back. Um, one of the things I did when I stepped into this program with my mentor is I doubled my prices immediately. I made the sales, but I didn't have the sales right away. Because I was, no, I did make the sales, a beginner's luck, right? There's a, we've got all these expressions to, to explain, to keep us back. Yeah, okay, it worked. In that month that I, that I doubled my pricing, I made sales, and then I didn't make the sales after that for a while. You know, because I, I have clients, as you know, that pay me monthly for a while, so I still had income, but I wasn't making the new sales to pay what I needed to pay. But I do now, and I've continued to increase. And the more the pinch, the bigger, the, the tighter the pinch, the better the results you're going to get. Because you're going to do win. <laughs> you're going to do whatever the heck it takes. No such thing as competition, by the way. So that's something you need to analyze, is where the, the salespeople stopping. This was talked about in my suite last night. That you know, like, I don't know what the adjectives were, but I was brutal or something. I was whatever. I don't stop. Where are your salespeople stopping? Because they're stopping somewhere. And where they're stopping is where their pain, where, where the customer's pain has connected with their pain. And they go, oh, I understand. So you've got to, you've got to be really clear to them. And that's what you sell them. You don't sell them price. Sell the benefits to them. All they want is what's in it for them. That's all they want is what's in it for them. Um, one of my clients a couple of years ago in this program was um, you know, heating, air conditioning, that sort of thing. And when we got into strategy number six, which is the marketing and the sales, I said, well, tell me what it is that you say. And I said, you know, I don't give two shits about the name of this one is better than the name of that one. I said, what do you think I care about? And she really didn't know because she's been in the business for so long. She's been selling these air conditioners or these, these uh, furnaces for so long. She just knows that this is the best furnace out there. But you can't sell me on that name because that name doesn't say anything to me. I said, so ask me what's important to me. And for me, you know, one of the things I don't like, I don't like with... Um, well, any kind of furnace, but an oil furnace, for example, back in the day when we had oil, um, that it would dip down to like, you got to set at 70 and it goes to 68. And then it'll go to 72. And then it'll go to 68. Then it'll go to 72. Well, you know, maybe that doesn't happen anymore. But she said, oh, no, that's right. That's exactly what these people have in their houses. And ours doesn't do that. And I said, do they know yours doesn't do that? No. I said, well, so get out of the technical stuff, the specifications, all that stuff, because you're speaking a different language. They don't understand that language. And they don't have the time or the desire to be educated in that language. You know, it's like selling to me in Greek, or even speaking to me in Greek. I don't know anything. I don't know anything in Greek. So it's, you know what, I speak enough languages, I don't want anymore. Let's just make this easy for me. And this is a big one. Make it easy for me to give you my money. And I say that to people. You know, I'll be looking for something, right? And, and I, they give me what they understood I wanted, and they're so out to lunch. And I say, okay, ask me what you need to know about what it is I'm looking for, right? Because obviously me telling you, you're not getting it. So ask me. And then they still send me back something, and then I'll pick up the phone and I'll say, okay, here's my end goal that I want to reach. I want this and I want you to make it easy for me to give you my money. Then they start to get it, or they don't, and I cut the ties.